Culture bus, shalom. My name is Carmel Gottlieb Kinchi. Uh, I was born in America, in Logan, Utah. I live in Tel Aviv, near Shankill Street. Uh, I am the uh, curator of the uh, exhibition Composed Family. Uh, I'm also the producer of Inbal Dance Theatre, and uh, we're standing right at Inbal Dance Theatre. Um, I would like to talk a little bit about the new exhibition that I'm curating here. It has a lot of uh, great video art. Uh, video art. So uh, let's let's see a little bit. We're going to start uh, with the film. Hopefully, that's the film that that is on right now. Um, we're going to start exactly. The film uh, is called. Um, just a second, I have to remember. Okay, the Daily Dance. It's called the Daily Dance, and it's by Doron Solomon. Uh, it talks about Israeli families, really, uh, and it talks about the portrait of the artist with, within a family. It also talks about capitalism, about uh, the role of the man in the family. Uh, it's really funny that when I decided to make this, uh, this uh, exhibition, I was thinking about the postmodern uh, family and about uh, the new ways in which the family is composed right now. But really what happened in the exhibition is that we see a really like traditional family. There's a father, there's a mother, there are usually three children. And here we can see in this film also a father, a mother, and three children. This is actually what we're seeing now is the end of the film. We're about to move to the next film. Uh, it's a film by uh, artist Merav Haiman. Uh, it's called Living Room, Kitchen, uh, Children's Room, and uh, Family Room. Uh, it was made this year, and it also talks about a family. This time, the family is uh, a family of acrobats, and really talks about how impossible it is uh, or how hard it is to be an artist inside a family. But it really talks about each and every one of us, how, uh, how hard it is to, you know, to, to work within a family. And uh, in her eyes, in Merav Haiman's eyes, it looks as if it's, you have to be almost an acrobat.
now we're going to see a bit of a film called Maria and the Child. Uh, it's made by Ayelet Albanda and Lavi Hitzig, and it's kind of controversial since we're going to see really a man trying to breastfeed his child, his baby. It's very, it's very mild, but uh, the attempt is really funny, and it sort of uh, moves up to the realm of, you know, fantasy of religion, of Maria and Jesus. And, but it really talks, in my eyes, more about gender, about roles of, of men, of women, and uh, the difference between, between men and women and what they can do. Now, now we're going to see a little bit of a film called uh, Friday Dinner. And it's really about, you know, the traditional Friday dinner of Jewish families. Uh, we're, we're seeing a family that is gathered together, like a very big family. I think there are about, uh, I don't know, 20 people in this family. And they're very happy together. And uh, the director is really uh, pulling uh, hopes on them. Um, he's asking the, the, the owners of the apartment to let the other people of the family know that they won the lottery. They won 20, 28 million dollars uh, shekels in the, in the lottery. Uh, and the film sort of follows what happens to the other members of the family when they hear that they won. And it, it follows the, you know, the mimics, uh, the, the, the gestures, and the things that the people say to one another. And everything that is happening is really not uh, here. It's, it's beneath, you know, beneath the surface. And that's what inter what's interesting in the film. We'll see a part of a beautiful film by Ela Amitai Sadovsky. She made a film uh, that was made during almost a year in the neighborhood of Musrara in Jerusalem. It's on the border of the Israeli and the Arab uh, population. Uh, she really stood there and she followed what happened on the, on the wall in front of her. Uh, what's nice is, you know, the, the people that were walking around the wall were really all talking to her all the time about her feminine roles. And she uh, decided to really uh, take their opinions and uh, talk about them, but from her own uh, perspective. What she does is really makes uh, she makes herself an agency. She, she, she gives herself agency uh, while she's doing she's doing so, and she really addresses all her roles as a mother, as a woman, as a, as a, a caregiver to children, uh, as a sexual object. She's talking about a lot of feminine uh, ideas. Uh, and she really takes, she sort of takes, uh, takes control of her destiny as a woman through the wall. Now we're going to see a part, a little part of a film called With One Hand. It was made by Ella Greenhoy Zaharano. Uh, she's a very young mother. She's talking about her role as a mother and an artist. At the beginning of the film, she takes off her nail polish, her red nail polish. And while taking off her red nail polish, she's really sort of taking off her identity as a seductive woman, of a woman who has, you know, a lot of um, sexual powers. Uh, and she decides, really, to take uh, to take her identity as a woman, as a family member, as a mother, and as an artist. And she really talks about the destiny of you know new mothers that they have to really hold the baby in one hand and function 
with only one hand. Now we're going to see a part of a film by Aubrey Tresson Valder and she's going to, she's here, so she's going to talk about her film a little bit. Aubrey? Hi, uh, my film is called um, The Italian Hospital uh, Haifa and it's about uh, my uh, memory from uh, this space. It's uh, actually it's a hospital that, that uh, a nun is a director of uh, this hospital and uh, most of the nuns are uh, from uh, Arab uh, countries and in this uh, film I took an uh, actress that is uh, basically uh, Arab and she's from uh, the Galilee and uh, I'm uh, talking about the surgery that um, was uh, uh, for my uh, personal biography and um, uh, she takes my place and um, introduces this uh, story to the um, audience and uh, meanwhile uh, you see all the staff of the hospital uh, the director, Emanuela, uh, from Italy, um, Victor, uh, which is um, um, from Haifa, Arab, uh, uh, from Haifa, and um, now, now what you see is um, she takes you through the spaces of the hospitals and talks about the, the story, but the story is actually my story and not her story. And, and um, this is a very special uh, place because it's kind of uh, ex-territory and uh, it's a place that is um, located in Haifa, in Israel, but actually it's, um, it's a place, a uh, multicultural uh, place with a lot of um, uh, cultures and uh, nations and people coming, as I, as I said, from uh, different um, countries, uh, Iraq, uh, Lebanon, uh, Italy, uh, Israel, and uh, not all the political um, issues uh, actually um, uh, you can see them uh, there but uh, in a very special um, So I hope you enjoyed a glimpse of my new exhibition, which took place at Inbal Dance Theatre, Inbal Multicultural Ethnic Center, really. And uh, I'd like to emphasize the importance of this place, which is really a an historical place, but also uh, since we show here on our stage uh, <clears throat> a lot of performances that are um, multicultural, that involve the East and the West in Israel. I think uh, the importance of the place is is really is really the place is really important, uh, and I really urge you to come when you ever whenever you come to Israel. Please visit us and visit our performances and uh, up, try to update yourself on our new exhibitions. See you all.